right handle will be Ken Brzezinski. Ken Brzezinski does not have a title for his speech because it's going to be determined entirely by random. He's going to give one of those dreaded impromptu speeches we were just talking about not too long ago. So it's a chance to see how well Ken gets his experience. And if you see Ken survives it, maybe you'll change your mind on having the idea of three speakers and somebody doing an impromptu speech. Please join me in welcoming Ken. <laughs> Keep things honest. You know, I'm not in cahoots with Ken because I am, after all, his coach. I'll ask one of our audience to uh, <laughs> pick out a card. Don't look. Don't look. You didn't pay me. Is this your card? Get a story to share. Got a story to share about an annoying neighbor? Uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> so I was thinking before I came up here that this is an off the cuff presentation, right? You notice how I offed the cuffs today. <laughs> in preparation. So a story about an annoying neighbor. I'm sure you have stories about annoying neighbors as well. They seem in a big city to be everywhere. Now I have a particular story that dates from the time I lived in New York City where my annoying neighbor upstairs would walk on the floor, which had no carpet, with his shoes. Have you had that experience? Clump, 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 clump. Now, the normal thing to do would be knock on the door, say it's bothering me, and express your annoyance in a polite way, assertive way, shall we say, and presumably the neighbor would respond in a considerate fashion. <clears throat> well, my annoying neighbor did not. Instead, he said, don't bother me, leave me alone. I went back to my place to figure out what to do next. The next time, clump, 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 went up there, banged on the door. He didn't even answer. I'm a born and raised New Yorker, so I had to take a New Yorker's approach to this. Can you imagine what that might be? In my case, it meant attaching my stereo speakers to the ceiling. <laughs> I had to go out and get a special contraption that allowed me to hold the speakers up there. And when the clump, clump, clump came, I just turned that baby up real loud and gave him the music. Now, I didn't hear much from him personally. There can't be much dialogue in this story because uh, this was just an interaction of clump, 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 and music. I had the satisfaction of doing something proactive, but it never stopped the banging around up there. In fact, I discovered why. He was not alone up there. He had his wife up there. And they would get into some rather heated marital, marital discussions. And the last thing on his mind when he was yelling, hey, stop doing this, leave me alone. And she was yelling, I don't want to, was to worry about me down there as he clumped around. So an annoying neighbor, in this case, I think had bigger problems on his mind than me, the other annoying neighbor, annoying him about annoying me. Have you had a problem like that where the neighbor you found to be annoying was involved in some other distracting issue? Have you had that? No, you had, you had it where you couldn't get through to them because they had their minds on other, they had bigger problems than you. I wonder, you have to tell me afterwards what you did. All right. But try the speaker stuff, that works. The other thing is the old broom on the ceiling. It doesn't really stop the other person, but you feel really good as you bang the way up it. So that was my main, uh, my main story about annoying neighbors. It also revealed to me that I'm sensitive to noise from neighbors, and unfortunately in a city that's very common. I found out some people are very sensitive. Are, are any of you in particular sensitive to noise? Oh, okay, I'm not alone. So if you hear that bass from the music next door, <laughs> right? 
gets to you. It's hard to go and complain to your neighbors about the music when the music may not actually be loud, it's just the bass transmitting through the building. There's not much you can do about that. I have neighbors now, I live in um, a townhouse. A townhouse means there's a house attached on one side, a house attached on the other. And on one side, I have some college students living there. And I remember the days when I was a college student, I, I had to have a good time too. So I go to them, I say, listen guys, I know you're in college, and I know it's a good time, but please, no music after 12 at night. They were really nice, they say, no problem, we'll take care of it. Until the most distracting thing, getting back to this theme of distraction, this most distracting theme most distracting thing comes into their life and they forget all about me. What could that be? Five college guys. <laughs> yeah, women, right. As soon as the girls come over, the music goes up, Ken goes out the window, and that's the end of my night. So, I wish I had something to tell you that I learned from this. Oh, I do have something. Uh, yeah, that's it. Live by yourself. Buy a house on a few acres of land. Have no neighbors. And then you don't have to worry about this. Yes, that's the solution. So I leave you with that parting thought. If you have annoying neighbors, move. Get rid of your neighbors. That's great.